Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, Gibson is starting to make headlines. They're back with two brand new signature guitar models. And honestly, spoiler alert, I'm actually pretty excited. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and ah, Gibson's back, man. They're back in the headlines and in my opinion, they've done something very, very cool with two brand new signature guitar models that have just been released about an hour ago at the time of this filming. Before we talk about them, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like and share this video if you've yet to do so. Go ahead and do it. It'll take two seconds. It'll help get the word out, spread the word, and at the end of the day, it'll just help out my channel and this, it would just make me happy, all right? So the two signature models are as follows. First off, we have an Epiphone Nancy Wilson Signature Fanatic and we also have a Captain Kirk Douglas signature Gibson SG Custom. So first one I want to talk right off the bat is the Nancy Wilson. Now Nancy Wilson, famous from the band Heart. I'm a huge fan of this. Now, Heart is a is an older band. Like I'm, I'll be straight up. You know, I, I said it in another video, I would like for some new Gibson stuff to come out with some younger artists and you know more modern artists. But Nancy Wilson. I have a, a huge soft spot for Nancy Wilson. First off, my dad loved Hart, and I grew up with Hart, all right? But also, too, Nancy Wilson, she's a legend. She's a pioneer. She's arguably, arguably, one of, if not the first female guitar hero. I mean, she's right up there with, like, the Joan Jets and the Lita Fords and, you know, things like that. And she paved the way. Now, you know, she was one of the first people. She often said um, in many different interviews how, like, it was kind of hard for a woman back in the day, back in the 70s, to... Um, you know, really kind of stand out in a male dominant dominated genre that is rock and roll, right? So I think Nancy Wilson getting a new signature guitar model in 2021 is pretty cool, man. I think it's I think it's pretty neat. And also too, man, she just kicks ass, man. She's got killer tone, plays awesome guitars, and if you've ever seen, I'll put a picture of the VHS slash DVD up right here. But if you've ever seen this instructional Nancy Wilson video DVD, whatever you want to call it. Dude, she is so talented and an insane guitar player. So if you haven't checked that out, um, be sure to do so. But yeah, man, back to the guitar, back to the Fanatic. That's the name of the guitar, man. I'm looking at it right here on my laptop. It is like an old school kind of tobacco, three-tone sunburst looking kind of thing with a, with a slanted pickup, man. It's it's cool. It's a, definitely a rock and roll guitar. We also have the split block inlays here so this guitar to me is very cool man it'll be very affordable for anybody who's a fan of heart who's a fan of nancy wilson or who just wants a cool guitar man so i think that's pretty neat and you know again the fact that it's epiphone that's a little bit unique to me and something that i think will appeal to more people and the last thing i do want to say it is called the fanatic but it looks like a nighthawk so I don't know if the fanatic's the name of the guitar or the name of the model you know what i mean i'm not sure if it's a nighthawk but it's called the fanatic or it's like the fanatic, I, I don't really know. Um, so if anybody is able to educate me, I'd really appreciate it, all right? But of the two, the guitar that I'm more excited about, honestly, is from the captain, Captain Kirk Douglas, most famous from The Roots. Now, this is cool for me because he's from Philadelphia. I'm just outside of Philadelphia, so he's kind of like a hometown hero. Um, but also too, man, this guitar itself is wild. There's one thing that is really unique to this SG Custom, that is something that I've personally never seen. And that one thing is he has a separate volume, a master volume, it appears, to control his guitars for volume swells. Now, at first, I didn't really notice this because I thought it was just like a master volume um, and, and that was it. But he also has four individual volume and or tone pots for the pickups and, you know, all three pickups, kind of like a traditional SG layout or you know, Les Paul layout, you know what I'm talking about. But the fact that he has now five knobs on his guitar, that's pretty wild, man. So, you know, that's certainly unique to him and to his style. And in the video that was released on Gibson TV's YouTube channel, he goes in depth talking about why he likes it, what's, what he wants it for, et cetera, et cetera. But that is pretty cool, man, pretty wild. This guitar comes in two different finishes. We have a, a like kind of metallic seafoam green type of thing, surf green, whatever you want to call it. And then he also has, which is my favorite, the black and gold SG Custom. That is so sick, man. Black and gold, you can't go wrong with black and gold. It's elegance, it's class. And uh, yeah, man, so it comes in two different options. If you want the white one, or excuse me, the white pick guard with the seafoam metallic green, or if you want the all blacked out with the gold hardware, those are two available guitars. 
One final thing I find really interesting about this guitar is the neck profile is actually based off of one of his own Epiphones that Prince broke on television. This, he tells the story that when he went, when Prince came to The Tonight Show, he did a solo on his guitar, and when he was done, he just threw it up in the air and it just snapped on the ground. And uh, that's pretty crazy, man. So the fact that it's modeling after a guitar that has some kind of history to it, I, th I thought that was a pretty cool talking point and something, you know, worth sharing with you all. So overall, I would say I'm relatively pleased with this initial announcement. Um, it's not blowing, you know, the doors off of my hypothetical car or... You know, I can never get analogies right. It's not blowing my doors off. That's what I'm trying to say. It's okay. It's a solid release. I'm not like questioning it. I'm not like, you know, like, why? I think it's a cool release, especially the captain. All right. Captain Kirk. I think that's cool, man. Kirk Douglas from the roots. That's cool, man. Those guitars are sick. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just excited because, uh, you know, Gibson's starting to do the NAM thing and starting to release what they're going to have for 2021, man. So everybody, what'd you think of the Nancy Wilson? What'd you think of the Kirk Douglas? Leave all your thoughts down below and let's have a nice, friendly, cordial discussion about Gibson, all right? I'm really curious to hear what you have to say about these two guitars so, for so far, and I can't wait to see what Gibson has in store for us as the weeks and days go on in this NAM time, all right? So that's gonna do it for this video. If get again, if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like and share this video. Let's get the word out. These guitars are pretty cool, man. And um, yeah, man, thank you so much for watching. I am out of here. A huge shout out to all my patrons. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.